Hi, this is Jimmy from Cosmo Music, and today we're going to be talking about some random records. Hopefully I can provide some insight into what makes these albums so special. Okay, let's talk about Miles Davis. 1959 was one of the most important years in jazz. It was a year where jazz started changing from the bebop of Charlie Parker and Dizzy Gillespie into a new kind of modal jazz. Modal jazz, in the most simplistic of definitions, is more of an emphasis on scales and modes in a search for new sounds, as opposed to the emphasis on quick chord changes in bebop. 1959 is also the year of the classic jazz album, as some of the most iconic jazz albums of all time were released that year, including Art Blakey's Monin, Charles Mingus's Mingus Ah Um, the Dave Brubeck Quartet's Time Out, Ornette Coleman's The Shape of Jazz to Come, and perhaps most important of all, Miles Davis's Kind of Blue. Kind of Blue is widely considered the greatest jazz album of all time. Miles was always a great recruiter of talent, and the talent he recruited for Kind of Blue includes some of the greatest jazz musicians of all time, including John Coltrane, Cannonball Adderley, and Bill Evans, all of whom went on to have successful careers as leaders of their own bands. On the first day of the recording sessions, Miles called for no rehearsal, and the musicians really had no idea what they were about to be recording. Apparently all he gave them was a few sketches of scales and melodic lines that they were to improvise on. To think of that now when listening to the album is incredible because at times it sounds so well thought out and composed. Kind of Blue's influence reaches far beyond jazz, influencing classical, rock, and hip hop artists. It's also the perfect introductory album for someone wanting to get into jazz. It's the first jazz album I ever bought and continues to reveal new things to me every time I listen to it. This is Jimmy. Tune in next time for another random record.